Hello and welcome to part 21 of the Johnny Blender 3 series. Um, in this part, we're going to go in and, and try to do a little bit of a lip syncing with our with our face shape keys that we created last time. Now, um, this current version of Blender that I've been using, which is 2.59, um, earlier sections in the tutorial used 2.57, I believe. But uh, there's an issue sort of with uh, the automatic keyframe insertion. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go to our dope sheet and go to our action editor and let's go ahead and just delete out this one here for the uh, face movement let me spread that out a little bit more okay so just go ahead and X that out and then we'll back up all the way and let's turn the automatic keyframe insertion off for now and alt r for to clear rotations alt g to clear any rotations so okay so the way this should work is we turn the automatic keyframe insertion back on and anytime we just scroll up to any point in the timeline, we go Shift L to, or actually Control L to kind of insert one of our pose library shapes or uh, poses there. So let's just uh, do that one. And you can see that it does not insert a keyframe for that. So what we would have to do in this instance is to go ahead and click and then then hit I to add a keyframe. But that's not very, um, it's not very conducive because uh, it actually also, if we select some of the other bones, okay, I guess not. Um, when I was playing with this before, it inserted keyframes for every bone, no matter if you were, you had the face, only the face selected or not. But anyway, so, um, so if you will go to blender.org, if I can pull up the right window here and go to download blender.org go to download um, right now as of this date it's uh, currently October the 18th 2011 2011 um, the current stable release is 2.59 you can get the 2.6 release candidate which is what I'm going to be using here you just click on there and then if you have Windows 32-bit you download here 64 there and then if you have a Mac their Linux there. So anyways, or you can go to graphicall.org and kind of keep track of each update as they come out. So so that's that. So um, back to 2.59. Um, like I said, that, that doesn't automatically insert them there. So I'm going to go ahead and use my 2.56 candidate, which is still actually 2.59. This is 2.59.4. So Okay, let's kind of go back in here and kind of get rid of all those actions again. So let's just go ahead, let's go ahead and clear those out, and then we'll create a new one. And we're going to call this one um, the audio clip I've uh, recorded is Johnny kind of giving a small tidbit of <laughs> uh, of uh, oh um, advice or whatever he says. Uh, Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So we'll just say today audio. Okay. Okay, now to insert the audio clip, I'm going to come down here to the timeline. Just go ahead and split that one up. And then click on the little clock right there and go to... Where's that? Video sequence editor. And then we're going to add a sound. And I've got the sound clip right there. So we're going to add that. And you can see it puts it in here as a green lines. We'll just make that window a little smaller so we can see that a little better. And drag that over to there. And let's make this a little bit easier to see there. Okay. Now on the 3D viewport right here, I don't really need to see the properties or tools for now. So I'll just go ahead and turn those off. And come down here to our video sequence editor. Go ahead and hit N to bring up your properties in here. And a lot of times when you're lip syncing, it makes it a little bit easier if you can actually see the waveform. So you can kind of plan ahead and kind of, you know, when it's, when it's a small, when it's in a valley, basically, that means there's no sound. So uh, you want the lips, you know, kind of closed or whatever. So the way to turn on the waveform is come over here in your, your properties panel here and turn on caching. And then just go ahead and click back in here or right click. Draw waveform. There we go. Well, I guess they've changed that in 2.56 as well. Or 2.6. 2.59.4. So anyways, um, there's our waveform. 
So let me go ahead and turn on, on playback. Go ahead and turn on audio scrubbing. You can hear it as you drag your slider. Now let me let you listen to this if, if I can get it loud enough for you to hear it. Turn my speaker up a little bit. Okay, so see if you can hear this. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay, so we're going to see if we can't make Johnny say these words. Um, now, one thing that we need to do that we did not do before is we need to set up uh, an F or a V shape for his face. So let's do that real quick. Jump over to our shape keys, and let's just add a new one down there at the bottom, key 24. Let's name that F or V, F, V. So let's tab into edit mode, and basically what we're going to do is grab the bottom lip, and tell you what, let's go ahead and turn on our toolbox again so we can kind of make sure we're doing everything right. There we go. And just kind of drag that bottom lip, turn on <laughs> proportional editing, there we go. Okay, just drag the bottom lip up under the top lip, and maybe drag the top lip out just a little bit. And maybe smooth out there underneath the lip. Grab the right vertices. Here we go. Well, it's kind of hard to see them. There we go. Okay. Well, <laughs> still not the right one. There we go. Okay. Finally. Okay. So now he's saying, well, if we clear everything out, let's grab all those and Alt G so we get them all cleared out. And now if we can, I get that sound look to it okay so now let's go ahead and uh, set up a driver really quick uh let's, mm, let's go ahead and split this window here you can split it <laughs> split the windows as many times as you want uh graph editor scroll over here make that a drivers go ahead and make that a little bigger open our there we go okay and now let's grab that keyframe right click add a driver Scroll down over here, grab that one, and it's going to be average to value. It says error, but no big deal. That'll clear off shortly. The object is going to be JB3 armature. And the bone, uh, let's say bottom lip. And we're going to have it when it goes in. So we're going to say, um, I guess that will be the, let's try the Y location. Where's it at? There you go. And it's going to be local space. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and grab that bottom lip bone and move it. Okay, it's not doing anything when we move it on the Y. So let's change that. Actually, we need to turn that to average value again so it actually does clear out that. Still not doing anything. So let's change it from not local space, change it to Z location. And now, there we go kind of see it working there. Let's clear out its location so it puts it right back in the right spot. But it's it's doing it when you move the, the lip forward. I'd like to do it when you move the lip backwards. So let's clear that out. Grab uh, his face again there. And change this to negative one right there. There we go. And that's actually going to be too high as well. So you got to move it way back for it to actually fully process that. So let's make it a negative five. See how that works. Clear that out and could probably still be even a little bit bigger. Let's make it negative eight and we'll just call it good there. So clear all everything out. Alt G, Alt R. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and combine those two windows back. There we go. And since we have the automatic keyframe insertion turned on, it's automatically inserted uh, some keyframes there. So let's go ahead and select those and delete those. Okay. And now let's go ahead and see if we can't start. Actually, let's create one more pose shape there for the F sound. Grab that bottom lip, move it in, and maybe make him frown just a little bit as he's doing it. 
and then grab those okay and we'll add current pose add new and we'll just name this one F same as the shape key FV all right now then go ahead and delete these keyframes again every time we move it, it if we have that turned on it creates a keyframe so now um, so we're starting off here zoom in a little bit so we can kind of see he starts off today so let's start off at the very beginning with just kind of a blank pose we're gonna go control L maybe start off there with the uh, uh, board there we go use that board uh, library key that we created okay so he starts off today so let's go ahead and find the one that's kind of a miscellaneous one there we go and then maybe open just a little bit we'll try that one <laughs> Big wide today. Guess we'll do that one again. And then maybe a there we go. Uh for the Then we got that F the first day, so we'll use that new one that we made. F E, there we go. go first it kind of has the uh shape at uh, the uh shape and then miscellaneous again there we go kind of the a shape then back to the uh and then the v there we go And then uh, R kind of has a U shape, rest sort of. There we go. And the V again. Your life, kind of that generic miscellaneous one there we go lie the V sound again and there we go and then back to the board pose there we go okay so let's see what that looks like now now one way so you can get a nice matchup when you hit play so it doesn't detract the audio speed versus what you're seeing this the speed of the video that you're seeing is you can turn on frame dropping and then it'll kind of skip over uh, some of the frames so it actually matches up correctly with the audio so now let's see our handiwork see what it looks like today is the first day of the rest of your life eh. be nice to add a little bit of variation Maybe instead of the smiley right there, we'll zoom in here so we get exactly on the right keyframe. There we go. Let's put the uh instead. Control L. There we go. And sometimes you gotta rearrange the keys there so they match up a little better. Maybe not even need that one, so let's delete that. See, probably need to close right there. There we go, that'll work. Life. 
the F sound needs to be real quick, and this is kind of drawing it out there. So let's move those the following keyframes up. And let's move the whole shebang there up a couple of frames. Maybe one more. And then maybe. A lot of uh, trial and error when it comes to lip, lip syncing. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Now notice I also have the <laughs> the eyebrows and eyelids selected, which I don't want. So, tell you what let's do. Let's zoom way out here. The only ones I want animated are these guys right here. The DRVs, the drivers. So all the ones that, I, that are not, that don't have the DRV in front of them, we'll select those and go and delete those. And then also these here. There we go. Make sure everything else is not on there. Okay. So now, uh, and actually, that was just for the head and everything else, so I want to make sure the top lid, there we go, top lid, bottom lid, of, on the right and left, and then the brow left and the brow right. There we go. So let's go ahead and delete those out as well. So now we have just the chin, the mouth corner, left, mouth corner right, top lip, and bottom lip. So we just got these four controllers right there. So now the eyelids should not move at all. So Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay, so it also helps if we turn off the bone layers there so we can just see how Johnny would look if he was actually animated. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. It's not perfect, but uh, it's it's pretty close. It's a lot better than some of the cartoons you might see on, you know, Nickelodeon or something like that. Um, tell you what, you can also do to help get a better display right here uh, is turn off your subsurf while you're while you're viewing the motion. So the the fewer polygons your computer has to calculate on the fly, the smoother it'll play so today is the first day of the rest of your life so that's not too bad <laughs> so let's go ahead and make this a little bit bigger so we can see Johnny speaking a little bit more okay so he's up there giving a speech today is the first day of the rest of your life okay so that's gonna be it for this part 21 uh, just a quick lip syncing tutorial tip thing there. Um, part 22, I'll try to jump in and and add some extra body movement to his speech here. Like his head can be looking around, his eyes kind of looking at different people in his audience, his hands gesturing, whatever. So, um, again, that's going to be all for part 21. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in part 22.